what's up? So, don't look at my hair. I know it's crazy. Um, we're about to leave San Antonio now to go to Fort Worth. And then from Fort Worth, we're going to, I think, California. Um, so, we're going to take you along with our journey today. Um, RJ's out of the truck right now. He's putting the tag on the other truck. That way it don't get towed. Um, and they're supposed to be coming to pick that truck up, I think, next Friday. Um, say hello, hello. I'm tired, <laughs> boy. It's, he says it's hot, but he's wearing all long sleeves, so. I'm to go pick this Amazon trail up. I gotta use Amazon stupid GPS, man. So, yeah. We're going to take you along our journey. We're going to go through all of our old stopping grounds that we used to do uh, Uber with and Uber Eats. And we're going to take you along our journey. I don't know what you're about. Hey, y'all, don't they look like some buildings off GTA, man? See that big yellow crane right there? That's why I used to snipe HVN ass off of. Exactly what I used to snipe them off of. But yeah, we are in, I don't know, Texas right now. Austin, Texas. And it looked like them buildings off GTA though, for real. I just had to throw that up in there for y'all, bro. But we're going to catch y'all whenever we get into the trailer. Guess what? And Melissa can get out and record now. Yay! So, really, bro? <laughs> but um, yeah, bro, we're going to catch y'all when we get to Amazon, bro. And I'm going to show y'all how to check in and traffic but now we're in temple we're like still i think like two two and a half hours from fort worth where we're going to pick up the trailer anything to say honey bro my butt off you don't see um do i got anything to say don't take some jar don't walk down dark alleys at night. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. It looks like it's a day of nothing but traffic. So hopefully after this 5 o'clock traffic's gone, we'll be good. But we'll catch y'all when we get closer Look to the Look at the coppers, y'all. Oh. There's the coppers. There's the coppers. But we'll catch y'all when we get closer to Fort Worth. Hey y'all, we're in Waco now. Um, the traffic is died way down. Um, knock on wood. Hopefully it stays this way all the way to Dallas. We're like 90 something miles till Dallas. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to try to show you without a crank. But uh, maybe in a minute I'll show y'all when we go by the college over here in Waco. Uh, and then along our adventure. Hey y'all, we're in Fort 
work now, back in traffic, going on the expressway or whatever it's called. Um, we'll be there to get the Amazon trailer probably in about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then that's when we'll get back with y'all to show y'all like checking in, checking out, how to hook up and everything like that. Okay, y'all, so we pulled up at Amazon. He didn't talk to nobody. I guess they got the license plate number when we pulled up. Um, and they just told him what spot to go to. Um, and stuff like that. I don't know what he's looking at on his phone. Um, I think he's trying to get the information like for the trailer. But um, now we're here at the trailer. Can you see right here? Ours is over here. It's the one at the end. Um, but I'll get back with y'all when we go to the, hook it up. So now he's taking pictures like of the of the trailer. That way, whenever we get to where we're going, they can't say, "Oh, well, the driver did this or the driver did that." Like, to have it all documented, like what we what it looked like when we picked it up and when we drop it off. Okay y'all, so we picked up the first trailer and it's an empty trailer. We gotta take it like three miles down the road to pick up the other trailer that we're taking to California. Um, we just figured this out. Even though I did say it on the notes, we didn't read that far ahead. But that's why it's always good to read ahead. I ain't pulled a drive in in so long, bruh. I'm pulling on boxes all day. Slow down for Amazon. Keep me up. But we'll be at the other place at 1852. I said 652. No, y'all didn't know. And it's 642 now, so we on our way. We'll catch y'all when we get there. I guess we'll catch y'all when we get there. Okay, y'all. So, this is where we pull up to. This little thing right here. So, he doesn't talk to nobody or anything. Thing open. All right, y'all. Bro, I love that I don't talk to nobody, man. I don't like people. People just and in, in trucking terms, it make my message. <laughs> I don't like people, bro. So I really just pull up and tell me what spot the trailer in. Go get the trailer. Go hook up. Pull back out. Get open up, and we go home. We gone. I got to remember, bro. This trailer feet three foot long. I'm so used to the chassis, bro, and the hard feel. But I don't know why the GPS telling me to go across this yard over here and, and get to the highway. I think if I do that, I might just go to jail. But that ain't the point, though, huh? Nah, that ain't the point. The point is. Yeah, I gotta get on the highway. And we go! Yeah, go! Alright, y'all. Now he's going, gonna go back up. That way we can get our other trailer.
I guess he forgot where he was going, y'all. close to that. Look at that. That's how you drive. He said that's how you drive. I was about to get out and unhook from the trailer. And then he has to unhook it. See those three wires? He has to unhook them. He's gonna pull out. It's right here, babe. All right, y'all, I gotta come and help him out just a, just a tad bit because this, I guess, is broken. Now he's going to come hook up to this trailer right here.
Is that the trailer number? I know, but don't you need to check the trailer number? Yes, sir. Now we gotta do the checklist, so he'll go on his phone. Ready for inspection. Next, you want the front. You want the front of the trailer, the driver's side, passenger side, and the rear. So first thing I'm gonna do is the front. Now the driver side. Make sure you get all the corners, bro. You gotta get all four corners, just like this. Sometimes it's a little tight whenever they have another trailer right beside them. But that's why he has his arm up like this and I'll have to take the back picture as soon as we pull out and we close the doors now I, got, I gotta do the rear but I ain't gonna do the rear until I put the seal on Pull it. So I guess it's up a little too high, so he's gonna drag it and take it down a little bit. I heard it whenever I clicked in. So now he has to hook all three of them that he took off that other trailer. He has to hook up to this trailer. So you see the lights are blinking on this side. <laughs> He's gonna finish jacking it down. All right, so then he puts the little handle thing that he uses to take it down with. He puts it like in a little hook. That way it doesn't get broken or nothing like that. All right, so now he's gonna pull out. We're gonna should make sure all the lights work. Close the back door.
Alright, so if y'all order anything from Amazon, this is how... Well, these are the boxes I'm guessing they come in. Um, so this is not how it would look. But these are your boxes that ship your Amazon packages. Alright, now he has to get this seal that they give him to put All on right. there. And he has to go back on his little handy dandy notebook, his phone. And take a picture. And remember, you gotta get all four corners. We go. And we're checking all the lights, which y'all seen. The other side worked. The back lights work. This one works. You know, ours always works down there. Hey, yo. Uh, we made it down the road a little bit. Now we're gonna get gas and then grab something to eat and get back on the road so yeah uh we got 1300 miles one three zero zero yep we got 1300 miles to go now so i would drive the target sleeping and this video coming out Today, getting the first load. What should the title be? Picking up our first load with Amazon Relay. That's gonna be the title. It's coming out right when we stop the night, and we're gonna start another one in the morning. Oh, we might just start. No, we're gonna start another one tonight after I edit this one and put this one out. Then we're gonna turn around. And start another one tonight. You know what I'm saying? And y'all gonna see our morning routines, I guess, bro. So yeah, um, I'm gonna show y'all how much diesel we're gonna we're gonna get. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get a pot, and I'm gonna start making breakfast in the truck. That way, you know, we what save. What happened to the other pot? That way, we save on expenses. And I found at the truck stop. Which what happened to the other part? I don't know. I think it's in the other truck. But it's $19. It's what? $19. $19? I found this bigger ice chest refrigerator now. thing at the truck stop. You plug it into your cigarette lighter. I think we're going to get that. That way we can get more groceries and not just like noodles and stuff like that um that way we can make breakfast and have sandwich stuff if we want sandwiches which he doesn't really like sandwiches um but I like the, I this stuff. but what i can do is whenever i cook in the truck just make a little extra that way he has lunch for the next day but but with uh, the little refrigerator that we have right now there's not enough room in it to have extras. Don't get me wrong. The little fish right there, it freeze now. It get cold. It, 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 it do a job, but it, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. The little refrigerator, it's just good enough for, like, drinks. Y'all remember that Rotel I cooked? 
ain't had that since y'all seen that video. Maybe when um, we get to California, we'll probably get to California tomorrow, depending on our it drive. It might be late, 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 because what I'm going to do, um, get up probably, I ain't no morning person, so don't y'all try to talk to me. Don't, but, don't talk to him in the morning um, time, because he will bite like your head off. Six in the morning? More like 6, 37. 8, 9, 10, nah, but 11 or 12, like today. It's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna be probably, I'm gonna try. I mean, Melissa got the, bro, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all that little story, bro. So, in the oil field, right, they had snitches that'll go and take pictures of you sleeping when you had the boxes on your trailer. Melissa, so I'm sleep, bro, and I had boxes, which it wasn't my fault. Remember the box that was welded on the top? It, 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 I lied. It really wasn't welded. I just didn't want to open that box up because I was scared of ice. But I can tell you that now. <laughs> that box wasn't welded, bro. <laughs> Y'all, he done called dispatch. He done called his boss at a, after midnight over here and everything. Saying this box is welded. 